What's going on everyone, Darkwater here, and welcome back to Park Attack. We're continuing on Celeste Mountain, where we need to have 800 guests in the park. We are currently at 529 and falling. Uh, people are hungry, people are thirsty. Kind of an issue, so I think food and drinkers is going to be something that we kind of focus on in today's episode. Last time we added Jumper, we added Raul Hodges. Uh, we added Top Scan. And I was contemplating adding a another ride or two down at this end because this kind of seems like a dead end of the park. Uh, but I think I want to take the path basically from here up and around, keeping it probably on this level. But that's going to be a little bit of purchasing that we're going to have to do. But I'm glad that you guys are back joining me on this build. This has been a challenging uh, part. But we are making a good amount of money. We currently have a... Oh. Yeah, we've got the, the radio going. For the entire park itself. Hasn't really added too much. But I think taking care of some food and drink will definitely be helpful. We just researched Transformer. But. Let's come through with. Uh, path there. This is going to be bit much isn't it so let's go underground because this I'm planning to have this food and drink area kind of all be underground so we've got kind of a decent space back here um, in fact, let's come this way. One, two more. Make a left hand turn. One, two. Uh, flip you that direction. Go forward. Two, we'll do one more. And I want this one down here. Okay. Now, shop wise, can we get hot dog stand? And then a hot drinks, perhaps. And what else? Toilets are going to be in there as well. How about some mini donuts? And what else? Pretzels. Can't go wrong with pretzels, right? And one more. Let's get... That's not food and drink. There we go. I, I'm thinking tea. Because I'm kind of feeling one more drink station. Um, down here we're going to need an employee path. Oh, that is not the correct height. There we go. And then we will get a depot down here. In fact, we'll put it here. I need a trash chute down here. Can I... Get it there? Yes. 
And we'll just do a, nope, not there, there. So you two are joined, but I want to get also a, another staff room down here as well. As soon as I can figure out what height that goes at. There. Okay. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and add all five of these guys in there. So we've got that in. We just need to now hook this up. Where is this one coming from? Um, actually, taking it from there might not be that bad of an idea. Pretty sure that's all still underground. I think it's there, right? And look at that. Somehow, I managed to uh, actually get it in alignment. Now we should probably get a bathroom down here. Maybe. Are you occupied? I don't think you are occupied. I th Fine. We won't deal with that, but I do want to get a... Let's get a hauler. Let's get one more janitor. And we're going to go ahead and start a another zone. Probably from here up. No, not. Let's do that, do that, and hold on, let's... What else is zoned over here? I think I'm going to sh shred zone 3 off of that section. We'll expand zone 1 to cover up here. 1 to cover top scan. 1 to cover this section. And we're going to start a new one up here. For zone apparently four I don't know where zone three is that I'm missing clearly there so zone four is gonna be all up here I need you to be assigned to zone four and we need to figure out oh cute Real cute. Okay. Path is not 
the correct heights. Are you the correct height now? It certainly looks like it. So from here, too high. We just need that, right? Like that. And now we just need the hauler to start hauling. So that should take care of you guys. Let's go ahead and pop back out from underground view. And let's do a little bit of work kind of in this area, shall we? Uh, I want to start... Actually, let's go back underground for a second. And I'm going to take out that path. Go ahead and, I guess, tunnel again. There. So that creates a better cue for Jumper. It looks like our hauler is uh, hauling everything there. And I think I want to do some rocks kind of over these. I'm leaving this area as it is and we'll do a we'll go ahead and we'll do a bathroom in the middle there because I don't think I've got nearly enough bathrooms. So we'll take out this tree and we will add in some rocks. We'll do some greenery up here a little bit and uh, see what we can get kind of hammered through. Just to make this a little bit more naturalistic area. We're gonna need some plants. And some seats down here. Especially if we're gonna have all those food and drink areas. How big can this get? That's actually a decent size. Some kind of roof over this. need a little bit more rock back here. I like this one just because it's massive, takes up a lot of space. Uh, the rest of this I think looks good. Now let's improve the area. I want a light there. Do that. We'll, ooh, not do that. Or that. Oh, I don't remember what lamps we were even using. Apparently, you guys. 
We could do that. Let's get a trash bin here. And actually, let's uh, go underground for a quick second. Get a trash bin here and here. Get a couple benches down here as well. Just to give a little bit additional eating and seating space. I do want to know. So you are fine with everything down here as it is. Okay. I, I can deal with that. I didn't know if I was going to have to construct walls or anything, but apparently I don't. So that is definitely helpful. Let's uh, add a little bit of greenery up here. We're up to 550 people. And I definitely think... Another coaster will end up having to be something that we get in this area. Uh, let's get a few little plants up here. Maybe a little bit darker green. I always enjoy putting a little bit of a greenery within the rocks because I think that looks a little bit more natural. Maybe there's some water that gathers up in the uh, crevices of the rocks. Just kind of a really bushy area down over here. Maybe we'll get a little variation of our shrubs here and there. Twister's now available. I wonder how big that is. All right, I like that little food and drink area. Uh, let's slide over here for a minute. So we got the spiral slide don't know if I necessarily want that in here. We do have G-Lock we haven't added in. Transformer is pretty big. Twister's a smaller size. It's got low excitement though. But I'm kind of feeling the launch tower. So maybe we do the launch tower just kind of on the top of the hill over here. Can I... Ooh. Ooh, don't want to do that. just rock that just so it's a little bit uh, yeah maybe we just surround that with some rocks give me oh there's nothing left to research and... okay
I don't have an exit strategy now that I'm looking at this. Okay. I think I think I can deal with that. Uh what am I doing? That's right. Wow, how quickly I forget. Uh I'm gonna put here. We're gonna put the entrance here. Um exit there. Forty-five will work. Yeah, I know. I don't have anything connected over here, so let's do that. Then we can just connect you. So that's ironed out. We'll grab the queue. I'm gonna run the queue over here. We'll go up, and we'll go to there. And I think that'll work. Now, give me a few rocks so we can do something with this uh, tunnel monstrosity. In fact, can I... How big can we... In fact, I could probably just... Oh, I can't do that. Because I don't have the money to do that. But we could just put the rocks in there. Nobody's going to see, right? Uh, let's speed things up so we can actually get some more... Uh... Money going through. There we go. I don't think I realized we had rocks with gems in it. Not that I have money for rocks with gems. doing well with money here. And maybe some larger flaps through here. I think that's pretty... it's better than it was. There we go. Let's uh, add a few trees in. We'll get our Good old friend, the blobby tree. As well as the rest of our furs. And 
There we go. Thoughts? I want to go on it, and it's awesome. The problem is getting people down to this end of the park is a little bit of a struggle right now. Hunger and thirst are decreasing, though. Um, I am feeling bathroom might be good towards this end of the park. I also feel it's just kind of open, barren land. And I'm not, I don't know if I'm thrilling on that. We're at 577. We're sitting on two grand. The radio advertising was only 69%. It makes me wonder if another one would be okay or not. But I'd like to get the other coaster in here, but that's going to be a big chunk of land that we're going to have to buy. So let's take a quick look as to uh, how much land we can buy. That is about it. <laughs> so that pretty well covers all the land we can get, I think. Again, we're going to do the exit path and the entry queue from here to the coaster. But that's going to have to wait until next time at least. Because we're going to need to uh, save up some cash for at least the coaster. Um, part of me is considering just the Alpine coaster. Uh, it's got to be something relatively small, I think. Unless there is a mine train coaster that we research. What are we currently researching? Inverted spinning. So we'll have to see what comes next. And maybe if there's a mine train coaster, then we take it into the actual uh, mountain and that if that's the case then we inverse this and this is your uh, entry point into it but we'll have to see what we can uh, research next time but attendance is going up we're at 556 800 is going to be a bit of a climb I think but I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here. And I look forward to seeing you guys again in Park Attack. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a fantastic day. Bye.